Have you ever wondered what happens to some stars as they get older? Well, let's find out. In the constellation of Orion the Hunter is one massively large star named Betelgeuse. And though it may not look like it, its radius is about a thousand times that of our sun. If you were to place it inside of our solar system, it would engulf the inner four planets. It does have some of the same common features as our sun. Both stars are hot, with the surface of our sun being about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and Betelgeuse is about 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And much like our sun, Betelgeuse has sunspots, although they are massive in comparison and cover a large portion of its surface. We also know that it takes 36 years for Betelgeuse to rotate once. That's a long day. Astronomers have been observing Betelgeuse as far back as the mid-100s, but it was British astronomer Sir John Herschel who studied it in depth. He noted that it was a variable star, which means that its brightness fluctuates on a somewhat regular basis. In January 2020, astronomers noted that it was dimmer, dimmer than we had seen it in 72 years. There were many theories as to why, but the prominent theory is that a large cloud of dust was swirling around Betelgeuse and temporarily blocked its light. However, it begged the question, what happens to a star as it gets older? We know that Betelgeuse is near the end of its life. Astronomers believe that it's almost 10 million years old, but what will happen to Betelgeuse? The most likely scenario is that it'll explode into a beautiful supernova, maybe even sometime in the next 100,000 years. When it does, the light will be bright enough to see during the daytime here on Earth. But don't worry, it doesn't pose any risks to us, as it is over 640 light years away. And though it is large, its density is very low, so it doesn't have enough mass to turn into a black hole. But it will create a neutron star, which is a star created from the collapsed core of a giant star. These stars are very small and very dense. It will also most likely leave behind a nebula, much like this one, called the Crab Nebula, which was created by a supernova in the year 1054 AD. Betelgeuse is observable starting in the late fall and going into the late spring. So look up and tune in next time to discover something new about our night sky. Stay hungry.